Hello again, and welcome to a very special dragon making episode. Um, uh, when I was making uh, Simon here, our cute little dragon of speed, um, I didn't have my recording system set up yet, so I couldn't actually record his build process. So what we're going to do is we're going to make an extra special episode where I record his uh, adoption scroll being written, and also uh, his uh, signature being etched on the back of him. So let's go about doing that, shall we? Mm. Let's just pop over to this view. Whoop! And you can see my paper here already. So we have uh, my uh, etching knife that is uh, normally with uh, Albert here, my piecemeal dragon. It has all of my sample parts of chainmail and tools on it and such. And now, okay, Simon, where would you like your signature if the dragon picks where it goes? How about it? Back a little bit. Keep going. Oh, right about there. Okay, we'll do it on this scale, okay? Oh, he's excited. He's excited. Okay, now let's just put the old KH on there. It used to be KT, actually. Ah, for Kabu Thunk. And later Kabu Troy. Big long story behind that. I won't get into it right now. <laughs> mm, you got your signature. You got your signature. He's excited. Mm. Or a finished dragon. Now let's write your adoption scroll. So I've kind of pre-written it ahead of time because you know it usually takes me like a good several minutes to come up with it and then I'm crossing out lines and writing in more lines and he's had three drafts already so uh, I'll read it off already for you here. This is Simon. Simon is the dragon of speed. Rushing to the aid when called, this dragon doesn't dawdle. While taking the time to do one task, his mind is already on the next, nearly placing his feet in the correct positions already. A smile on his face and a jump to his pace, this dragon likes things pretty, precise, and punctual. <laughs> so that perfectly describes Simon here. So let's go get this on your uh, waterproof paper, okay? This is Simon. I'll have to be silent a little bit here. I need to concentrate to write. You know, print well. There we go. Smile on his face.
There we go. And the end treagle here. Feel free to rename him if you like. Then something. <laughs> And enjoy watching him breeze past as he's on his way to his next errand. And I made a typo. Okay, that happens, that happens. There's been some dragons where I've gone through three or four pages. Let's try this again. When in doubt, try again. Right near the end, too. <laughs> Ooh, I just thought of a better wording for it, too. Instead of taking the time to do one task, taking the time to finish one task. Ooh, improvement. Here we go. Try again.
I ask her errand. Feel free to rename him if you wish, and enjoy watching him breeze past as he's on the way to his next errand. That rolls better. And I have an itchy arm, I'm sorry. Yes, the scroll is waterproof. Hey, now let's draw him a little design up in the top here. So sorry about my arm, just goodness, goodness, goodness. Must have rubbed against something or the table or something and it's causing me consternation. I apologize. Alright, last little bit here. Simon, birthday. Now his birthday was March 8th. We'll mark it down for that. Yay! We finally got your adoption scroll done. We still have to take a picture with him with it at some point or another. I'll be doing that over the next day or so. Yeah, basically he goes like that and, you know, sits on the paper in that general format. And then I take a photo. And then I got to take an action photo of him too. Not entirely sure what I'll do for that, but... Okay, so that one is scrap, unfortunately. And... Woo! Simon, you're done. Oh, and one other thing for his kind of uh, bonus special video here. We're also going to show you putting on his uh, name tag. Yay! I can't show you the rolling of the scroll, unfortunately, because I have to take a photo of it. But that's also kind of a thing where I roll the, the rolling of the scroll. That just sounds good. <laughs> so, you need a name tag. So, we go into this little baggie here. Where I have little strips of waterproof paper. Same thing as the scroll. Come here, you. Okay. I like to have, like, I have the uh, kind of paper cut off at an angle on the edge there. Just, you know, it looks a little bit more stylish. So. Simon. And... See, how did I do this specifically? Did I actually put the word birthday there? Nope, just the date. Okay, Simon, and it is March 08, 2019. There you go. Yay! Yeah, I really uh, finished off uh, Gloria there really quickly. They're only two days apart. The cutting of the name tag. It's also a little bit wide for my liking, so I'm just going to shave a little bit off of the top there. There we go. That's fine. That can go into my kind of little trash pile over there, which has a few candy wrappers and a chainmail bag thing. <laughs> okay. And we pull off some embroidery thread. I can't remember what specific color this is. Oh, actually I have spare embroidery thread here. Let's find out, out of blind curiosity. Do you have the name on you? Something move? Oh, 
Oh, you don't see the exact color. Ooh. It's Moulin's special brand. Eight millimeter, or eight meters worth. Hmm. It's mauve anyway. <laughs> it was a really, it was a really nice color. I like spent half an hour by the embroidery section of Michael's going over all of the threads and just seeing which one kind of suited it the most. Which one seemed the most dragony. Okay, so the string goes around the uh, kind of shoulder scales there. Oop. But not past the arms, like above the arms under the scales. Then we take this needle and we poke it through the end of the word Simon, which comes out near the top of the word March, on the opposite side. Then we can take the embroidery needle and put it there. Now, we tie this up around your neck here. Not too tight, we don't want to like hurt the dragon. And now we tie it in a square knot. And that'll keep it from, you know, coming loose. Yeah, pull it nice and tight. Yeah, but a quick little trim. My dragon scissors. I picked these up from Fabricland. <laughs> Wanted my dragon package to have all of the best stuff. And then I used uh, small sticks and twigs to, uh, like, wrap the, like, strings around. Kind of went on a walk at a place that I lived at the time and picked just the perfect looking branches on the ground to make this with. Oh, come on, you. Oh. Okay, yay, you have your name tag, you have your name tag. Oh. So that's awesome. Oh. Simon has a name tag, and a signature, and an adoption scroll. Oh. You're awesome. So, that's uh, Simon's story here, and uh, have a wonderful night, all! Yeah.